Bonjour Genie Engineers, welcome to my problem a day series. In this video, we're going to calculate the head loss for a giving system. Now, if you're here for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer a better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's get started. So we're giving a water that is flowing from a reservoir at a flow rate of 12 cubic feet per second to a 12 inch diameter pipe. And we need to find the head loss. Now, whenever we have water that's flowing through a pipe, there is always head losses either due to friction or due to the entrance of the pipe, exits of the pipe, and so on. Now, so we need to calculate that head loss and in feet. So I just want to tell you guys that I got very similar question on my exam. So make sure you understand it. It's very easy, straightforward question. All we need to do is use the Bernoulli equation. So on page 110, you are given the energy equation or Bernoulli's equation. Let's write it down. So we have P1 over gamma plus Z1 plus V1 squared over 2G is equal to P2 over gamma plus Z2 plus V2 squared over 2G plus the head loss. So here they have had friction because uh, they're determining it as a friction loss. But then here I'm just going to call it L because we like we don't know what type of loss it is. It could be friction plus due to entrance and exit. So we're just going to call it HL. Okay, so let's determine every term here so we can solve for HL. Now let's call this point right here. Let's call it 1. Let me do it in a different color. Let's pick, uh, actually, let's pick green. So let's call this point 1, and let's call this point right here 2. Okay, so at, usually at the surface, your pressure and the velocity is always 0. So mean, which means here you have your pressure is 0 and the velocity is 0 because water is stagnant. So this term is 0 and this term is 0. So let's now determine Z1. So if we take this as our datum, that means this we're going to consider it to be zero. Now Z1, which is here, it's going to be this height right here, 42. So Z1 is 42. So just write it small here. Now P2 is going to be zero because this is two. And at this, again, we said pressure at the surface is zero. So that's going to be zero. Now, Z2 is going to be 0 because we picked this as our datum. And now we need to just calculate for the velocity so that we can solve for HL. So let's rewrite this equation. So we have head loss is equal to uh, Z1 minus, so we're going to take that term to the other side, V2 squared over 2G. To solve for V2, we're going to use the continuity equation. So that equation is on page 109. So I'm going to write it down here. This is page 109. And so they tell you that when you have a water that's flowing through a pipe, right, the area times V or the flow rate is constant, is continuous. So which means a 1 times v1 is equal to a2 times v2. So let me write it down. So it's uh, so we have a2 v2 is equal to a1 times v1, and this is equal to the flow rate because it's constant. So for us to solve for v2, what we're going to do is do v2 is equal to q divided by a2. Q was given at 12 cubic feet per second. And the diameter is given as um, is 12 inches. So we have to convert that into feet, which is one foot squared. Now, notice here I use the area for a circle because we have a pipe. So it's a, it's a circle, circular shape. And that's why we use pi over 4 times d squared. Now, if you plug in this into your calculator, you will get an answer of 15. 0.3 feet per second. 
Note how the units cancel out. So we have cubic feet with feet squared. You're left with a foot, which is exactly the unit we need. So uh, it's good to keep track of the units. I always say this in my videos because then if you did something wrong, you can uh, you can notice it just by canceling out your units. Okay, so if we go back to this equation, then we can plug in 42 feet for Z1. Then we have minus V squared, which is 15.3 feet per second. And this whole term is going to be squared. Now divide that by 2 times 32.2 feet per second squared. Because that's the unit for gravity or acceleration. Now feet squared with feet cancels out. You're left with feet. And then squared, second squared with second squared cancels out. Which gives you the unit feet, which is good. That's what we need because we want to do 42 feet minus a term in feet. Okay, so if you plug in this you will get an answer of 38.4 feet. Um, and so that should be answer A. Okay, guys, so don't forget to do the practice problem before you actually check out the solution because the best way to learn something is by doing it. And remember, a problem a day keeps the F away. If you guys have any questions or a specific topic that you'd like me to go over, please leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and make sure you share with your friends who might find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon. À la prochaine.